Is that spooky ghost tricks? Ooh, spooky. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know what would make some people very happy? I have for you guys some Dragon Maid sleeves. And yes, these are actually hollow. I don't know how well you can see that there based off of the reflection, but one of you will be walking away with these today. If you guys could, you know, leave a comment down below. Tell me how you guys are doing for your holidays so far. Make sure you leave a little like on the video. And of course, as I said, make sure you guys got that little subscribe button going. And we'll continue our little sleeve giveaway for the 12 days here. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll continue this through the holidays just to cook up some other crazy fun little ideas. Well, let's go take a look at what's going on with ghost tricks, shall we? All right, the first list we have, we have two lists for you guys for this video, by the way. We, the first list is a little bit more of a standardized ghost trick build. Now remember, you're still playing ghost tricks. Yeah, I know that that is really painful to say, uh, but you know what? You can do things with this. Remember, all of your ghost trick toolbox is still pretty cool, and ghost trick festival just made your deck really good. So. One non-link ghost trick monster. You can also use a face down ghost trick monster you control as material for links on this card. Your ghost trick monsters can attack directly while a ghost trick card is in the field zone. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you attribute this card's well summon a ghost trick from your deck in face down defense position. You can only use this effect of ghost trick festival once per turn. This is uh, everything I wanted on a link monster plus more for this deck. So we have two copies of ghost trick doll, two copies of ghost trick fairy, one Jack Frost, Triple Jingashi. We have Triple Lantern, the Two Mary. We have one Mummy, and we have one Siren. So it cannot be normal summon, all right, unless you control a Ghost Trick monster. Once per turn, you change this card to face down defense position. All right, this card is normal or flipped face up, send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. If there is a Ghost Trick card among them, you can apply an effect. You can add a Ghost Trick spell or trap card from your deck to your hand, or change one effect monster your opponent controls to face down defense position. Okay, it's not bad. We have one copy of Ghost Trick Spectre, one Stein with one Takum Tumborg, one Terra Top. This is for your Ring 3 engine. All right, we have one called by the Grave, Triple Mansion, and then we have Ghost Trick Shots. So you can special summon one Ghost Trick monster from your hand or a graveyard, and then change one face down Ghost Trick you control to face up attack position. All right, so you get a change, and the best effect on this card is you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one Ghost Trick Exceed monster you control, attach one Ghost Trick from your graveyard to it as material. So you really get funky here with this. We have two Mystic Mine, two Swords of Concealing Light, one Terraforming, two Crackdown, triple Floodgate Trapple, and then we have two Ghost Trick Knight. And then, of course, the Ghost Trick or Treat. So if you control a Ghost Trick Link Monster or Field Spell, target one face monster your opponent controls. Your opponent can pay 2,000 Light Points to make this effect become set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. Otherwise, this turn that face up monster cannot attack. Its effects are negated. Also, change it to face down defense position during the end phase. This card just reads make your opponent pay 2,000 life points, effectively. We have two Ghost Trick Renovations, Triple Copies of Ghost Trick Scare, one Vanish, one Metaverse, two Quaking Mirror Force, and two copies of Storming Mirror Force. And then, down here next week, we have two Ghost Trick Festival, one Utopic Future, one F Zero, one Assembled Nightingale, two Soul Cute Boss, two copies of Dolhan, Triple Copies of Mischief. Two Alu cards and one Zeus. Then we have two Lancia, two Ghost Bell, triple Nibiru, triple copies of Gamma, one Driver, one Harpy's Feather Duster, and triple copies of Evenly Matched here, wrapping up the first Express build. Now the next one is just going to be, yeah, this is a uh, Dream Mirror Interactions here with some of this stuff while stepping through Ghost Tricks here while you basically are turboing out, yes, ladies and gentlemen, you're turboing out F0 to make sure you can do your thing. All right, this is based off of an OCG list here. It's a really funny concept that just uses the Ghost Trick extra deck cards and access to the Dream Mirror stuff so that you get access to F-Zero. I just want to include this here as a little note here for those of you that want to get a little bit more serious with another potential build. Ideas. So we have one Nibiru, one Pinker Tops, two uh, Neroy, the Dream Mirror Disciple, and triple copies of the Dream Mirror Heretic. We have triple copies of Tour Guide, triple copies of Ash Blossom, two Ghost Ogre, two Ghost Bell, adjust your hand traps however you please. We have two Lightning Storms, one Feather Duster, one Desires, one Ghost Trick Shot, one Upstart, one Monster Reborn, one Called by the Grave, two Droplets, two Super Polys, 
Two Cub is a crossout designator. Two emergency teleport. Triple Cub is a dream mirror phantoms. Then we have Triple Cub is a infinite permanence and one copy of renovation. Then we have one utopic future, one Dolahan, one copy of utopic future Draco. Two Alu card, one break sword, triple copies of the Angel of Mischief. One Downer Magician, and then of course we have one Zeus, one Mud Dragon, one Dragus to play, one Starving Venom, and one Eldritch the Golden Lord. Adjust as you need here, but just wanted to kind of showcase the generic idea of what's going on here. So that is Ghost Tricks, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, please take my take these sleeves from me. All right, I'll super easy little comment down below all right i hope you guys have enjoyed the holiday so far we got a few more of these left and i'm really looking forward to seeing what's to come i'll see your beautiful faces back here later on there with some more cool ass content you guys stay safe out there patrons thank you Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.